Welcome back to my channel everyone, Sri Tips here. And what we're gonna do in this video is see if we can fire this thing back up and uh, get the electrolytic cell back in operation. I mean, we just took it all apart in our last video. So let's see what happens here, if we can get this thing squared away. The anode back in here, over here. Let's have a look at this cathode. I didn't get to show you the back of this thing. The back of it actually looks better than the front. As far as sparkly goes. See that? Look at that thing, man. Very nice, beautiful, pure silver crystal on the back. <laughs> pure gold crystal, rather. Now let's see if we can get this thing situated get it back in the cell this is just distilled water that I had it soaking in all right let's get our thermometer back in here the heat on low heating our electrolyte up let's get this stuff in the back back here out of the way this is our spare electrolyte that we can use to replenish the cell as it operates we attach the uh, anode connection anode here. Now the cathode connection. I think I've got everything set up now. Let's uh, energize the power supply. So we've only got about 7 amps. We've still got 1.5 volts, which is what we need. Now we're just going to put it in time lapse, we'll keep a close eye on it, and watch as the uh, gold ions come off of this anode bar, travel down through the cell, and then deposit onto the uh, titanium cathode. Here I'm adjusting the cell around so we can get the best view of the anode bar corroding away. I had to take out a little bit of the electrolyte because it was starting to touch the little hook that I'm using to suspend the anode bar in the beaker. And I didn't want that thing, the hook, dissolving away and dropping the anode bar and uh, breaking the beaker. It's getting late. I'm going to have to wrap this thing up. Let's get in here and get our uh, cathode out of the cell. Have a look at this. Uh, the gold that we've plated out onto the uh, titanium cathode so far. That thing ain't no joke there. That's heavy. Quite a bit of it now. Sit 
this down out of the way. Let's get our anode bar out of here. Dissolved quite a bit of it. It's just a partial amount of what uh, we started out with. Looks spectacular. And then let's look down here at our. Uh, Cathode that's got our pure gold on it. Take a look at this thing. This is plating out on the back. You can see the gold crystal is just beautiful. It's got some really nice sparkles to it. And here's what we've got going on in the front of it. Just spectacular. Look at that thing, man. That's probably at least 10 ounces of pure gold right there. I found that when I turn the stir bar on that the uh, action is a little faster in the cell. So I just turned it on and left it run the entire time for this segment of video. current flow is dropping off so I think we've taken this just about as far as we can the anode bar has corroded completely and our uh, cathode is just literally caked with high purity gold crystal
he's heavy. Heavy, heavy. crystal just beautiful let's get our uh, handle bar out of here got a nice looking shark's tooth That's the corroded 17.4 troy ounce anode bar. And this is all that's left out of it. All that's left of it after we got done uh, corroding it in our electrolytic. So stick it in this water. stuff really 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 looks spectacular the electrolyte here will have lots of gold in it and there's some crumbs of gold down on the bottom of the beaker and what I'll do is I'll get this out of the way We'll process it later to make some high purity gold powder from this electrolyte. And then we're gonna get down in here and see if we can get some of that gold crystal off of that cathode. That's beautiful, man. See it sparkling? It's just beautiful. What I'm gonna do is get everything cleaned up now, create some room in here so we can work. That yellow rinse water will have lots of gold in it. So what I'm going to do is just add it to one of my temporary waste containers and we'll recover the gold out of there later on. This will probably take quite a lot of rinsing because the uh, gold crystal is going to be impregnated with that electrolyte. Heat this up now in some hot distilled water. I was going to heat the gold up and douse it in some cold water, but instead I changed my mind and decided to chill the gold with ice water and then douse it in boiling water. See if I can get it off that cathode. I'm going to use an experiment to try to get the uh, gold off of the cathode here. I'm going to use a thermal differential. I've got it soaking in ice water. I'm going to dip it in some boiling water and hopefully, I don't know if this is going to work or not, but I'm thinking maybe the uh, gold will just come, up, come off of here and just kind of let go of our cathode. Let's see what happens here. Got a little scraper device I've rigged up here. Got a little knife edge on a stainless steel spoon, and we're gonna to try to scrape it off of that. And here we go. Let's see what happens. Boom. All right. Let's get down here. Let's see what's gonna happen.
going on in there. Go over here and look. Separate dish. Have a look at our pure gold crystal. Wow, look at that thing, man. Look at the sparkle, sparkle of that pure gold crystal. Quite incredible. Let's see what the weight of this gold is going to be. There's some nice crystals right there. And we'll offer some of this for sale on the uh, eBay site. Let's put this in here. Zero to scale out. Let's add our gold crystal to this thing and see what kind of weight we got. 482 484.1 grams of high purity gold crystal here's our shark's tooth this is the uh, anode what's left of it I'm going to throw this on the scale now and get a reading on this thing only 80.4 grams. I'll offer some of this for sale on my eBay site. By the gram. It's beautiful. Look at the glitter. Just absolutely stunning. High purity. Gold crystal. And I think we're going to call it right here. And uh, this will conclude the series of the electrolytic refining of the pure gold crystal. I'd like to thank everyone for watching.